Hi everyone, it's Jen here, the Diamond Painting Gamer. Very warm welcome to my channel. And we have another unboxing from my Craft Club subscription. So this should be the December box. First of all, before we open it, I want to show you um, a couple of things that I've finished. One I've showed you already actually, but at the moment these guys are doing <coughs> kind of um, flowers that you, you build up through um, plastic bricks and stuff that's lot together that's not any particular well-known brand of plastic bricks that's lot together, if you get my meaning. <laughs> Um, so uh, I think they're going to do a series of five. So I think this in this box I'm hoping to see number three. But already I think I've showed you the sunflower. So that was um, a couple of months ago. And uh, last month in the Christmas box, the November box, I got um, an orchid. So that's the orchid all made up. So those models took probably about an hour to put together. So, but they're really fun to do and. I think I mentioned I'm not very good with plants, so I know I can keep these and I'm not going to kill them. <laughs> anyway, December box. That is what we're here for today. Oh, I can see yarn. Right. Okay, we'll do what we normally do. We will take out the diamond paintings. Uh, we'll look at them second, but we'll look at the other crafts first. So we should have five diamond paintings in here. I think, uh, I can't remember whether I want to ask for rounds or squares this time. You can change things off and I've just seen this thumbnail and it, it is so cute. <laughs> anyway, uh, there should be 330 by uh, 40s and 240 by 50s. What you normally get. Oh, me thinks I chose animals. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and abstract as well. I think it's animals and abstract I chose, and they're all rounds as well. So, but we'll pop these to the side before I, I tell you. I'll tell you something for nothing now. It's cuteness overload <laughs> on those uh, diamond paintings. Right. Okay. Let us read the letter and see what we have got. Okay, dear Jennifer, we are pleased to present your December box of crafting goodness. This is the, even though we're into January, this is the December box. What is in your master box? Okay, spark your... Oh dear, I've just, oh, I've just bought one of these. Uh, spark your creativity in the new year with our diamond painting notebook and make your journaling journey extra fun. I should, I should open this before I went to Tesco's and bought something. Oh, flush of eyes. so cute um i i don't know whether you've picked up on what i was saying the other day in one of my videos but I, i'm going to try and attempt to do a, a i am um, i'm going to attempt to do a what's it called a log book this year it won't be done in there unfortunately because i bought one for 199 i bought a book a notebook for 199 from tesco's and i put my first finish in there this is in my previous video from Double Diamond, if you haven't seen it already. Right, we'll see how far into the year I get before I stop. So we have a very cute diamond painting notebook. Uh, to be honest, I, I have diamond painted quite a lot of these. Some are in a box somewhere and I'm not too sure where. Um, but I quite often take them into work and I use them for my jottings at work. So this can go into my drawer and I will use it for my jottings. Okay, get ready to bloom with joy all year round with our delightful flower collection. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. Uh, each month receive a unique flower to brighten your space, available from October to February. So we're in December box now. Uh, these collectibles create a blooming masterpiece. Miss November's reached out to us. These are part of a series of five exclusive collectibles. So I wonder what flower we've got this time. It is... It's a surprise, it says. It looks like another orchid, actually, doesn't it? it looks like another orchid. Uh, let's have a look, because they did have some on the side. 
Uh, it's hibiscus. Hibiscus. Oh gosh, it's Latin, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's it's a pink hibiscus. <laughs> But I love the way they have them in these little pots and then they have like little frogs in there. See, look, 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 look at my, my orchid. It's got little froggies, little pinky frog and little green frog. And, little... and um, yeah, I like that. I like that as a nice wee touch. So yeah, I've got another plastic flower to make up. Build your own unkillable flowers. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, and I really hope this is cross-stitch, actually. Add a cosy touch to your home this winter with our DIY cross-stitch coaster. Transform your place into a comfy haven as you stitch these charming coasters. Now, I have done cross-stitch coasters before and I wasn't that, that enamoured by them. Oh, okay, this is the big yarn. So we're basically... Oh, it's not, it's not cross-stitch as what I would think of as cross-stitch because... Um, you're only using like a half cross stitch because the yarn's so thick but it's animal print oh I love I love animal print I love animal print <laughs> um, ah yeah here we go so we do have um, keys and where's the plastic threads so one two three four five coasters one two three four five six okay so we've kind of got a zebra print a leopard print and like a giraffe print so that's going to be cool oh i'm going to have fun doing that actually while we're on the subject of cross stitch Oh, I haven't opened up my drills for my, my wee book either. I'll open them up in a minute. Um, while we're on the subject of cross-stitch, look what I got from Ryan for part of my Christmas. It's a, it says embroidery, but it's not. It's a cross-stitch kit. I've made a start. It's been a little while since I've done cross-stitch. Oh, gosh, I'm in a bit of a fanko. Hold on. There we go. So I've made a little start. It's so cute. It's really small. It's like it's on a three inch hoop. So sweet little pretty cat. So I'm kind of working on that a little bit at the moment, but it's kind of slow going because I'm diamond painting and playing video games and um, it's been a while since I've done cross stitch. So I'm kind of getting back my mojo back about it. Okay. Um, Next, it says, gear up for winter adventures with our DIY bag. Oh, I love me a bag. You do not know how much I love me a bag. Um, craft your own stylish and functional bag. Perfect for carrying winter essentials and adding a personal touch to your cold weather wardrobe. So I'll be oh! Now, this is either going to turn out really nice or it's going to turn out a hot mess. <laughs> Um, but again, it's like the coasters. You've got your um, your plastic framework to work on. Oh, this is nice and soft. So this is kind of like... Um, it's not like yarn. It's like... Oh, gosh. You know the, the material that fleeces are made out of? It's that kind of material. Sort of like a fleece style material. And all your fixtures and fittings. That's quite heavy, that. Heavy, that. Oh, yeah, I'm liking the bag. That's a little bit different. And capture the magic of winter with our diamond painting butterfly sticker set featuring four sheets of enchanting stickers. So, um, we also have the obligatory uh, toolkit. Um, right, how will we do this? We will put this letter in the, down here. I don't really need that anymore. Uh, we'll put the toolkit out of the way. Um, let's just have a look at our stickers. It looks like 
these are all um, these are all uh, regular drills, not special drills. So it's on like a, a sheet slightly larger than A4 sheet. So we have kind of pink uh, themed butterflies here. A lot of confetti in these butterflies. Um, a kind of blue themed section. Uh, these ones are more red, a couple of blues one, ones down there. Lots of yellows and that's a nice selection of butterflies actually. Um, drills, um, yeah, we're just talking our regular uh, drills, nothing special there, just regular round drills. Looks like we have got, uh, how many different colours? I can see a 14, I can see a 16, and... I think that's what it goes up to. Oh, no, I can see a 20, 21. So we've got at least 21 different colours. And, uh, yeah, all colours of the rainbow butterflies. Okay, let us put that away. What I will do is I will open up the drills for the notebook because we do like to see what we get in the special shapes. these back in the bag and we will tidy up a smidge so that can go there and this can go here and this can go under here how, how, how come I can never get things back in once I've taken them out I know this isn't the way they had them in. How can you fit five diamond paintings into here now? Um, oh yeah, let's have a look at this because I want to see if it's lined or not as well. It's that kind of faux leather and it's not it's not lined it's blank seems quite a thin um notebook this one but yeah i like the design though i like that owl but that can be used for random jottings at work and the drills we have Okay, um, let's start with number one. So we have a blue AB. Not faceted. It's more like a, a half a dome um, drill. There's no facets in there. Uh, we have a purple crystal. We have a pale blue. We have a gold. And a green and an orange. Backs aren't looking very great on some of these. We have, look at this, they're all upside down. There we go. We have a round gold faceted. We have a, like a silver with a star etched into it. We have those um, orange Sort of like a bee coated, iridescent coated uh, owl's beaks. <laughs> I bet you it's on its beak. It is, it's beak and its claws are those. Turn this back round again now. We have our um, large uh, silver faceted marquees. We have like a small pale brown teardrop. Oh, we have this around faceted uh, gem here. It's got an iridescent coating on it, throwing off blues and pinks and purples. We have our uh, very slim looking pale pink 
um, marquee and then we also have a champagne colored marquee so yes that looks uh, awesome absolutely awesome but we're not just here for the extra bits and pieces in this box this is a good box actually you know i was saying about not doing these boxes after i've kind of got through the flowers but um i'm actually really impressed with these boxes these days you know really impressed so i may continue i'll need to think about it I did say I was, I was, you know, kind of wanting to cut down on my purchasing. Maybe if I do a, a, a concession that, you know, I keep the box going, but I don't buy from, you know, and that's, you know, that, that's it. I definitely don't buy from any budget sites. Anyway, diamond paintings. So, um, yeah. In the boxes, if you don't know uh, or if you're new, you also get a tool kit. Um, there is a, a diamond painting pen with a three placer, two placer at the end. There is a pair of tweezers, a boat, white boat with the spout, and a ton of wax. Um, the tweezers aren't great quality, if I remember right. Um, yeah, they're very lightweight. Um, they're not fantastic. I use um oh the wee bit pinged off the top. Oh well. Um I use the uh, I tend to use the Diamond Art Club ones or I've got a set from Spell Queen, I think a set from Dreamer Designs, you know, they they're they're pretty good tweezers. But anyway, looks like i chose all rounds and looks like i chose pets and abstract as my um as my uh choice or animals and abstract as my choice for um diamond paintings they are so cute oh, so cool. so cool. they're so goddamn cute right okay let's look at the shall we look at the cute ones first shall we look at the cute ones first yeah, let's look at the pets first. So we will start off with the 40 by 50. Which has got 40 colours. Now, these all do come true to size. Um, and they are on a soft backed canvas. Um, drill field is normally pretty clear. If I come up, you can see how clear that is. Drill, drill field here definitely is looking good. Um, that's not to say that I haven't had issues in the past with canvases that I've done. Some, you know, it, sometimes it depends on the symbol. Uh, talking of which, symbols are a mixture of uh, numbers, letters, and um, symbols. <laughs> So number one is this cow, and that's a cute cow. <laughs> that's a cute cow. Um, we've got parchment paper in here again. To be fair, I'm just spinning it. Um, I'm not using it. If you want my honest um take on that, uh, not the most colourful of diamond paintings, as you can see. It's lots of blues, which I do like, but they're off a of muddy blues, uh, browns and greens. A little bit of pink there, imagine for, um, I don't know, what would be pink? Probably around about the nose. Um, I think this will actually work up lighter than it looks because it does look quite dark. But that is the first one, that is the cow. Up there is the thumbnail. If you want a better look, very inquisitive looking cow. It's like, what do you want? Uh, with, um, I'm not going to open these up because uh, I'll never get them back in nice and neatly. Um, 
but with uh, each diamond painting you get your pack of drills all individually bagged uh, there comes with an instruction sheet you get also get this schematic again here in paper form uh, you can pop it through a, a sticker maker if you want to make your own stickers for labeling your pots okay so that is diamond painting number one the cow 40 by 50. Okay, let's look at the 30 by 40 animal ones. So, first of all, we have this uh, one here, which, if we look at the thumbnail, is an adorable little bunny. It's very spring-like. There's even tulips in the background. It's got 35 colours. And ooh, one lot of confetti. Oh, up the up at the top's not too bad. <laughs> okay. These will kind of lie flat. If not, I'll can give them a quick iron or put them under something heavy. Yes, I do iron my canvases. Yeah. Nothing really wrong with it as long as you use a cool iron and protect them iron face down as well but this is this cute bunny rabbit isn't he gorgeous once again we are on a 35 colors and um oh these are a little bit better in terms of the color palette there we go so we have got well browns again um but we also have some purples and some reds um this lovely um, pale uh, turquoise, uh, some uh, pale peach as well, because you've obviously you've got the flowers and all that in the background too. So a little bit brighter in terms of colours, but he's got a cute little face. But isn't the cutest one though? The cutest one is this one. Puffy pussy cat. I've got a feeling there might be a lot of colour blocking in this. However, there are 34 colours. Again, 30 by 40, paper size. My goodness. <laughs> How sweet is that? <coughs> how sweet is that now this looks like it might be kind of all boring -y, as in the a very similar looking colour palette but actually it's not too bad uh, we have lots of browns but we also have like oranges and yellows so it, again I think this one when it works up is going to uh, look a lot lot brighter than it actually is on the canvas here but yeah, isn't he cute? Oh, little puffy face. Okay, other ones I had, I chose, I think were abstract and uh, by egg. That is definitely an abstract. <laughs> this is going to have a lot of bright colours against that dark background i think so this one has got 35 colors and it is a 30 by 40 round oh yeah lots of color blocking in the background So it's kind of like a, well, it's, it's hard to describe actually, the design. It's kind of like, you know, you kind of got a swirl, like a kind of a wave thing going on there. Um, but you're also kind of like a, a mountain, it's a sky thing going on there as well. Now I'm fully aware that these, um, you know, mailing folds are quite pronounced. So I'll try and flatten this out as much as I possibly can. 
but uh, I do like um, light colours against dark, oh, sorry, bright colours against dark backgrounds. And I think down here, that's all going to pop and it's going to look amazing. Yep. Awesome. Not as cute as this little kitty cat. Though. Uh, there is our thumbnail on our drills. And actually, the background is 99 by the looks of things. Yeah. Uh, there is no 310 in this picture. There is no black. All that dark background that you see is going to be the 939. But look at the rest of those colours. Look how bright they are. Bright blues, yellows, reds oranges even got a pink down here as well so they they are really going to stand out against that dark background looks i'm going to look amazing really amazing last but not least on the diamond paintings we have our 40 by 50 abstract And it looks really weird. <laughs> okay. Here it is here. And it's like a boat with a lighthouse on it. With um, the rainbow behind. So um, if I did events. This would be perfect for Pride event. I think. Right, let's open this up. And we will straighten that out at the top. So, oh, this, this looks really cool. <laughs> a lighthouse on a boat. So this is 40 colours, just like the other um, 40 by 50. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Look at that colour palette. When I said this would work for Pride, if, um, if I was doing Pride... Uh, I, I wouldn't be wrong. Every single colour of the rainbow there. Red and yellow and pink and green. Orange and purple and blue. <laughs> but, oh wow, what a colour palette. Oh, that's going to look absolutely amazing. Sometimes, you know, like when you get sort of random stuff like this in, and you, you can initially think, okay, a lighthouse and a boat. <laughs> And then when you see the colours, you kind of go, whoa, <laughs> a psychedelic lighthouse in a boat. <laughs> it looks really good. Uh, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy up a little bit and then we'll do a full recap of the box. And I'll pick out what my favourite things are. And uh, yeah, <laughs> back in a second. Let me get my bin out. Okay, tidied up a bit. I've actually also zoomed out a little bit as well because... Um, yeah, that way you can see the canvases a bit better because they were kind of in your face. Um, so just to recap, in our um, bag of crafts, damage box, we got our bag and we got our notebook, our flower, our butterflies and our coasters, which I've turned the thing around the wrong way, but our coasters, there we go. Favourite thing out of this? Well, I think my flower really because I'm excited to build that up. But um, I think I like that notebook as well. I really like that design of the owl. So that's the extra crafts. Our diamond paintings, as I said, I've zoomed out now so you can see them a bit better, especially the bigger ones. We have got the boat in the lighthouse. We have this sort of like wave or mountain swirl sky um, abstract. Oh, we have got the cute little kitty cat who is absolutely sweet as anything. 
we have the very, very spring-like bunny. And we have our inquisitive cow. Hmm. So, favourite diamond paintings out of this. You know, even though the colour palette is a bit muddy, and that cat is gosh darn cute. I think my favourite animal painting is this cow. I don't know. don't know why. I think it's just the tilt of the head. Uh, but I also, funnily enough, really like this. And I like it because of the colour palette. It's just like an explosion. An absolute explosion of colour. It's, I think this is going to look amazing. Well, I hope it does because I'll, 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 it looks like it's going to be amazing. <laughs> so, what were your favourites from this box? What were your favourite paintings? What were your favourite um, extra bits and pieces? What did you like? Um, yay! Not too bad, not too shabby. I mean, it's come on leaps and bounds, this company. Um, I, I think I've said it for the last six months. Um, it really has. Uh, much, much better than it used to be before when it was um, under another name, which I will not mention. Um, but, yay, it's quite cool. Quite cool indeed. That is it from me for uh, this video. So, um... I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very, very much for giving me some of your time today. And I shall see you all in the next one, guys. Okay? Cheerio.